Hello everyone, I'm Akif and today we're going to discuss about network topologies. It's another video in our series related to wireless sensor networks. Now let's get started. Uh, whenever we want to deploy these sensors in some area, it can be anything. It can be a forest where we want to measure some parameters. It can even be an enemy land. or it can be some other area and this uh, circle over here it represents our area where we want to deploy our sensors and these uh, blue colored circles these are the sensors and uh, these sensors they gather uh, this information uh, from the surroundings it can be anything it depends upon the parameters which we want to measure it can be the color it can be the detection of the presence or it can be measuring the temperature or pressure and this information is being carried uh, to other sensors they form this uh, network or topology which we'll discuss in the coming minutes and this information goes all the way from the sensors to the gateway now here we can sense a sort of difference between a wireless sensor network and the kind of network that we are familiar with. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, the kind of networks or the computer networks uh, uh, where we are familiar with like the IPv4 or IPv6, what happens there is that suppose there is this router. This router is connected to the rest of internet. so this is our internet and some data arrives to this router now this router is connected to some network let it be like this we call them subnet and this if it's there we have these packets which has got a source address and a destination address in this case if the destination address is 255.255.255.255 it's called as broadcast address so it's called as the broadcast address which means that this information, this data, is not sent to a particular computer in this network, it's sent to all the computers. So what does that mean? Is that information is coming from the router and is being sent to all the devices in the network. But here we have something uh, opposite, like the information is coming from the devices and then is being forwarded to the gateway so information is coming from here and is moving towards this or information is coming from other devices in the network and is moving towards the gateway uh, and then what happens next is that this information is either carried to the LAN or to the rest of the internet now we also talked about deployment. Sometimes deployment becomes difficult. We cannot directly go to the enemy land and throw the sensors there. We'll get killed. Uh, we'll be shot upon. Uh, so what happens in that case is that some fighter jet, it may just hover over that enemy land. Um, maybe when they are sleeping or something like that. And they will de uh, deploy these sensors there. They will deploy these sensors, throw them out uh, without uh, these enemies knowing about it. Uh, so this is how uh, these sensors are deployed. Or uh, in case of uh, oceans where we want to measure some uh, parameters, we may uh, ask the divers to dive deep down and uh, throw these sensors but they too have their limits they cannot go beyond some level so they may dive up to this uh, level and then 
deploy these sensors and they may flow down where we want them to be later now we discussed about topologies now let us elaborate about what topologies mean uh, so these are various types of topologies that we can uh, witness it's either a star topology or tree topology and mesh topology or hybrid of these topologies now what's a star topology uh, as the name indicates something is just like a star so what happens here is that we have a central node and uh, to this central uh, device we have other sensors connected to it so in a way a gateway uh, and the communication happens in a bi bi-directional way like this information moving from the sensor to the gateway or from the gateway to the sensor uh, and what happens uh, in this star topology is that uh, if one sensor goes down it doesn't hinder the com uh, communication that's happening in entire network similarly if we want to install another sensor it again doesn't hinder or affect the communication happening um, then we have tree topology as the name itself suggests that it's something like a tree in this tree we have at the top uh, this as a root and these at the bottom are called leaves and these are called relays so it's a distance one away from the uh, root this is called as a relay and what happens here is that these are meant for optimizing the power consumption or to extend the network communication range and that's where the tree topology is useful now we have another kind of topology it's called as a mesh mesh topology what happens here is that each node is connected to all the nodes within that radio range so it's we can expect here that reduced power consumption and uh, compared to other topologies it has a re reduced power consumption and if one node goes down we it's much more fault tolerant because it has other pathways to continue the communication to happen the another thing that you can uh, expect in mesh topology is that all the time they are on they are all waked up then we have another one which is called as a hybrid in hybrid topology what you expect is a, a combination of all these we have a star we have a star here we have a mesh here and we have tree topology so all it's just a hodgepodge of all these uh, three uh, type of topologies and uh, this is the kind of the topology that we get to see uh, most of the times because we cannot see something which is completely star which may be mesh or tree we just see a mixture of all these things so that's what uh, hybrid topology is so that was all for today uh, thanks for watching and if you found that these videos were really useful like it subscribe to our channel and share it